In April of 2020, Michigan's unemployment rate peaked with more than a million people out of work. About a year later, that number has fallen dramatically, and Michigan's jobless rate is even lower than the national rate. But even with fewer people unemployed, many of them are still struggling with their jobless claims. Tonight, 13 On Your Side's Emma Nicholas looks into why the process is still so difficult for some. It's a familiar sign over the last year. COVID-19 left many people without work, leading to a huge influx of claims with the Unemployment Insurance Agency as its offices shifted to remote work. Not obviously at the level that it was. UIA year. Acting Director so Lisa Estlin Olson well. says claims aren't coming in at the rate they once were. So that's a good thing because that allows us to uh, really continue to work with the claimants that we have not been able to pay. But many people are waiting again this year. Pedro Zapeta Jr. first filed back in February. Bills are piling up and the people say they, they don't care. We hear about a lot of different things that people run into as they try to get their unemployment. One of the main ones we're hearing about, though, is stop payment indicators, which is usually the result of the UIA trying to verify your identity. Eslin Olson says that fraud prevention is taking up a lot of resources. We have a lot of fraud tools that we're using. Uh, the problem is, is that sometimes that slows down the work that we have to do with legitimate claimants who are uh, needing their benefits to be paid. So um, it's a balancing act. Zapata says he's had to submit his identification multiple times. The advice claimants are given is that they'll need to wait and check their account for alerts. To me, it looks like we're never going to get paid. You know, sitting here as a person who lives check by check, you know, it's it's hard with children and a wife and for a father to turn and tell him, hey, I can't pay this bill. It, it hurts. Without in-person appointments, online chat and phone calls have become the primary ways to reach the UIA. But calls can go unanswered or require long wait times. I've got the whole recording for when you call unemployment, like basically memorized. Joseph McCluskey um, says he calls once a week to ask about his claim. He's waiting on 16 weeks of payment equivalent to about $8,000. Yeah, it's frustrating because it's like I'm doing everything right. I'm calling, I'm, you know, certifying on a timely manner, just doing all the things, um, just trying to keep it, <laughs> make sure they don't forget that I, I exist and that my case is still open. Mondays are the busiest days for the UIA. On other days, Eslin Olson says about 60% of calls are answered. The agency's staff has been tripled from 650 to 2,000 people, but there's been issues with turnover. We have new people on the phones, um, and so sometimes they are not, um, they're all trained exactly the same, but some of them are more hesitant uh, because they don't want to give out bad information. Eslin Olson says there are about 25,000 more complex claims that are awaiting resolutions. Each week, she says about 10,000 new claims are filed. Over the last year, she says UIA paid over 2 million claims. People need to understand that this has been a huge volume, and um, our folks are proud of what they've been able to have accomplished for um, Michigan citizens and residents. It may have been bumpy, but 2.3 million people getting their benefits is not insignificant. If you're one of the people waiting on your claim to be filled, we have some more information and resources in the story on our website at 13onyourside.com. In Grand Rapids, Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side. And if you would like a link to those resources sent to your phone, you can text us right now at 616-559-1310. Type the keyword benefits.